Good morning. We're here with Rod Beck, and we've asked him to come and talk to us. I'm Eric Robinson with the Ronald Reagan Republican Club of West Ada County. And uh, Rob is running for commissioner in Ada County right now. And we'd like to get some comments from him and uh, learn more about his, his campaign, why he wants to be commissioner, what he thinks he brings to the table, and any other things that come up. So, Rob, good morning. We're glad to have you here. Well, good morning. It's good to be here with you. Well, thanks for coming. Um, we had Rod on our schedule for the uh, meeting in August, and unfortunately, we had to cancel that. So we're videotaping his presentation today. Rod, what have you got to, to open with? We, we'd just like to hear some comments from you. And what thoughts are on your mind? Well, I think it's good to give a little brief introduction of myself, of where I come from, uh, and a little bit about me, a little bit about my experience, I think is, is, uh, is good. So let me just start with this. I was born and raised on an Idaho potato farm, which kind of is unique. Idaho is a big potato state, but I was raised on a potato state, so I grew up harvesting and planting potatoes and hay and grain and so forth here in Idaho. That gave me the... Uh, experience to be a solid work ethic and I learned a lot and while I was uh, after actually after I left the farm uh, my dad ran for uh, county commissioner in, in in his county and he, he won and by the way it was the year that it was uh, the year that Ronald Reagan was first on the ballot that's I think what benefit what benefited him to uh, to run in his in his county and why he, why he won additionally uh, I uh, have always had an, a, an interest in the political process when I was fairly young. In fact, I was on the ballot with Ronald Reagan in 1984, my first campaign. And it was, it was exciting because everywhere we went, I would wear a Ronald Reagan t-shirt and people would give us the big thumbs up and how excited they well, were. Well, I'm giving you one right yeah. now. <laughs> I thought it was, it, was, it was fantastic. And of course, I... I won that race, and I won uh, successive other races for the Idaho State Senate. As part of my uh, duties and responsibilities in the Idaho State Senate, my colleagues selected me to be the majority leader of the Idaho Senate, and that's a fairly it's a, it's a responsible position. It controls the the majority leader controls the flow of traffic on the floor of the of the Senate, and um, so I had in, I had interface all the time with other political leaders, with uh, business leaders, certainly with the governor of the state. And that gave me a lot of experience in, in dealing with pretty high level people and with uh, lots of heavy budgets because we set the part of the responsibilities of the legislature. In fact, the main responsibility of the legislature is to set the budget for the whole state of Idaho. And shortly after that, when Phil Batt was elected as our governor, uh, he asked me to, to go over to the Idaho Housing and Finance Association, which I did, and uh, I ran that for three years, which was, uh, that's a huge organization that has lots of employees and a big budget and provides affordable housing for, uh, for people, for both for purchases and for, and for rent. Um, I've had political experience because I've, I've been uh, involved in the political process as, as a Republican. I was the Republican region chairman for um, a few years. During, during my time as a, as a region chairman, I was able to uh, work real hard to make sure that registered Republicans could, could vote at, in the primary and Democrats couldn't vote in, in, a, in a Republican primary. That was a big effort. Another effort that I did while I was a Republican was uh, I, tr I put into our rules, the Republican Party rules, uh, what, what we call the integrity in government uh, rule, which asks all Republican candidates to tell us how they feel about the Republican platform, if they supported it, or if there's areas where they disagreed with it, to give some integ integrity into the, into the party process. And in a way, People often ask me, well, why are you running for county commissioner then? Uh, and that, that is an interesting question because I'd never thought that I would run for county commissioner. Last fall or December, November, December, party leadership approached me about running for this position. And I indicated, well, I'm not really run, interested in running for the position because there's already an incumbent Republican that I thought was doing a fairly good job. 
and I didn't want to run against him. And then I later found out that this Republican was going to resign, and so that left an open an open seat. So I agreed to take the position to take the the plunge, and because of encouragement from party leaders and others, and they were basing their encouragement on my experience, both as a Republican operative and as a office holder, and the experience that I had had in the in the Senate, and the experience that I had in the Republican Party, and. I thought that was important, and it brings a lot of, uh, of my experience and my skill and my ability to the county commission. I think I can benefit the taxpayers of Ada County with the experience that I, that I have in, in the government the, uh, portion that I run. So experience to you is a pretty important thing. I think experience is probably one of the most important things. Um, just, just, just as an example, for the first time in years, Two years ago, in 2018, the Ada County taxpayers or voters uh, put in two Democrats in the in the in the county commission. There's three commissioners, and two incumbent Republicans were defeated by by these two Democrats. And there was a number of reasons for that, but but one of the big reasons was a lot of dark money coming into the state from out of state interests, and. Uh, this, this dark money was really important, and it brought, uh, uh, they were so proud of the fact that they'd been able to turn two Republican seats on the county commission to Democrat seats that they uh, advertised in their in their national publication that where they were bragging about all the U.S. Senate races and the House races and other governor races. They included a line in their national uh, newsletter after the election that, Oh, and by the way, we worked real hard and we got two Democrats elected in Ada County, which hasn't had two Democrats elected for years. So that shows how important the race is, at least the, the, in terms of what national liberal groups think. And uh, so anyway, I, I think it's important that we have a, at least a Republican perspective on the county commission. And uh, we have another candidate running as well, another Republican. And so we'll have to see how this race goes. So as a Democrat or Republican, is a person able to uh, enforce their own agenda? Do they really make much difference as a commissioner to the Republican or Democrat agenda? Oh, absolutely. Uh, you can make a lot of difference. In fact, I think, I think uh, see, last year, the first year that, they, that they, the two new Democrats set the budget, they increased the budget 11.5%. And it caused property taxes to go up because a lot of the budget from, from uh, the county commission or the Ada County comes from property taxes. And so the budget had to go up, uh, went up 11, the budget went up 11 and percent, which caused big increases in property taxes, which is un unfortunate. Now this year, because of the election and so forth and some other factors, uh, the budget didn't go up, the budget kind of stayed even. So elections do have consequences. And there is one consequence is, is the budget is, is that they've stayed even because see, Ada County has about a $280 million budget with about 2000 employees. So there's a lot of things that, that the county commission can do. And a voice, a conservative voice can be very valuable. And if nothing else, just at least checking what the other commissioners are doing and exposing it. So what what does a commissioner do? What do you get involved with on a day-to-day -day basis? Oh, a, a commissioner has a, an eclectic set of responsibilities. Uh, probably primary amongst those responsibilities are setting the budget for the county. Uh, and the county, that would include the sheriff's department. They set the budget for the sheriff and the jail. That's probably one of the biggest uh, uh, budget items. They run the uh, uh, all other, the planning and zoning. Uh, they run. Now, Ada County is different in that uh, the commissioners, while given sta uh, constitutional authority for roads and bridges, Ada County has uh, has established that that would be the Ada County Highway District that does the roads and bridges in the uh, in Ada County. Now, the that's that was done by by the, the county commissioners years ago. They put it on the ballot, and the people of Ada County wanted a separate department. To, to run the, the, uh, the roads and bridges in Eddy County. So we don't do the roads and bridges, but we have, we have some parks. We have some, the Eddy County has some parks. The uh, treasurer's office is, is set, this budget is set by the uh, 
County Commission, the clerk's off the clerk's office, which runs the courts and runs the, uh, the elections. Uh, that that budget is set by the County Commission. And uh, if there's any 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 kind of uh, the assessor's office, the coroner's office, all those are run by the, are are authorized and and budgeted by the county commissioners. Wow. So you do have one huge impact. Oh, there's a huge impact. Yeah, a, a huge impact on, on county government, a huge, a huge impact on everything that is, that is done in, in the in the in the uh, in the uh, uh, areas that are not uh, cities, unincorporated areas of county, the the count uh, of the county, there's there's there's, there's the, the county is in char charge of the trash collection even. <laughs> In some of those unincorporated areas. Now, in incorporated areas, it's the city that does the trash collection and the sewer. But uh, in the unincorporated areas, it's the county that establishes the areas of impact around the city on the zoning. It's the it's the county that has they have a planning and zoning commission. It's the commissioners that appoint the planning and zoning commission. Uh, there's a number of boards and commissions that the commission that the commission appoints and actually sits on. Uh, one of the most important ones currently under the current situation that we have is the health authority. The health authority is made up of local county commissioners. A lot of people didn't realize that. The health authority is made up of local county commissioners. Yes, there's county commissioners from the counties that are involved in the health authority. So would that put you on the health authority? Well, that would depend because the three county commissioners make that determination of which commissioner is going to be on the health authority, which commissioner is going to be on. There's also a, the county commissioners make up the magistrate commission. So when there's a vacancy in the magistrate court, it's the magistrate commission that appoints a new magistrate judge. And those are made up of county commissioners. Wow. <laughs> and this is an eye opener for me. I got to tell you, I hope you're listening. Uh, this is stuff I had no clue about. And it's it's important for all of us to pay attention. This is no small job. This is no small issue. Yes, it's a big job. Oh a big, my a big responsibility. And, and now the question might come, well, is it is it? Is it a partisan job? Well, of course, there's, there's partisanship involved. I mean, for instance, Republicans usually want, ought, usually want to keep taxes down, keep, keep, keep regulations down. Democrats, not so much. So to the degree that a Republican can be in there and be a voice for lower taxes, lower property taxes, at least not raising property taxes. And I'll give you one a good example. Um, Representative Mike Moyle from your district proposed a freeze on the property tax for, for the counties. And that would have frozen the property taxes for Ada County. And that would give them a chance to try and figure out some sort of a solution to where we don't have ever increasing property taxes. But it didn't pass the legislature. Well, I can be a voice to go to the, to the state legislature because I still know a lot of the people, a lot of them endorsing my campaign, to go to the state legislature and say, look, we need this freeze. Well, I'm I'm hoping we get you in there. You you've been very enlightening. Who's endorsing you at this point? Oh, you I mentioned a lot of people are endorsing you. Who who are those people? Well, know? Lieutenant Governor uh, Janice McGeehan is endorsing is endorsing me. Pat Patrick um, Patrick Malloy, the current incumbent county commissioner, endorsed me. Congressman Russ Fulcher is endorsing me. Um, Mike Moyle, uh, Chuck Winder. The senator and representative, uh, the majority leaders from the House and the Senate, and a number of other local legislators. Okay, um, what what do you want to get done? What's on your agenda? What do you see as important things you need to do during your your time in office? The most important thing that I think I have to do is to fulfill all the responsibilities that the county has, because the county has, as we just reviewed a lot of responsibilities to, to, to fulfill those responsibilities equitably and fairly and without, un, without undue burdens on the, on the property taxpayers. That's, I think, if I can do that, at least assist in that effort with, the, with my colleagues on the county commission, I will have considered that my job was very successful. Well, that sounds great. You know something, <laughs> this has been a real eye opener. Good grief. I think I'm gonna, uh, ask if you have any closing comments and then when we're done 
I think you and I need to spend a day or two figuring out all the problems and, and issues in Ada County. But what do you have, what would you like to close with? Any comments you have for our listeners? Anything we haven't I haven't asked you about that you feel is important? Well, yes, I think uh, the when we talked about it. I talked about it, my number one priority is property taxes, which is which is a function of the budget. And so you can you can rest assured that if I'm county commissioner, I will do everything within my power to tamper the budget to make sure that it's that it's kept in check or try to make sure that it's kept in check, which will then keep property taxes at least at its current level and not and not raise raise a bunch. Uh, another thing that's real important to me is the regulations. The regulations. See, we have a shortage of of housing in Ada County, and that's causing housing prices to skyrocket. Well, we need to do something to ameliorate that to, to, so that we can have a larger supply of housing because we don't control the demand. Boise and Ada County is nationally famous, and that's the reason we get a lot of people coming here. We can't control the demand necessarily, but we can try and control or at least help on the supply. And, and that's without doing undue, undue hardship on the current uh, citizens here. The other thing that's important to me, real important, is public safety. I'm really concerned we're kind of close to Portland and you've seen the things that have gone on in Portland and Seattle and some of those things and we get I've seen some brief signs you saw that that billboard that came up uh, down, downtown oh, yeah we all saw that we all saw that billboard those are some signs that, that look at what people are maybe some people saw that the manifesto that Mayor McLean put out we all saw that as well. well those are signs that something could happen so I want to, to do everything I can to make sure we have proper public safety, that our citizens feel safe about walking around downtown and about going to their to their restaurants. I want to see, hopefully get, we get all the restaurants open up full time again. I'd like to see uh, Ada County and Boise City continue to be a safe place to raise a family, to, uh, to live in peace. Well, Rod, this has been a pleasure talking with you. You've got my vote. Well, thank you. And uh, the club is excited to uh, to produce this video and get your words of wisdom out there. So thank you. We appreciate your time. And, um, and we hope you have a very successful campaign. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. All right.